Before looking at viewing SMS reminders, let's jump back up to your overall SMS configuration. You can send text messages from Expert Agent either for matches or for appointment reminders. You'll be able to see your current text balance up at the top here, and you have options to set to alert a particular member of staff when your SMS credits drop below a specific number. You can choose the number from the drop down here. Think about how many text messages you would expect to send over the average week. You can also choose to whom that alert is sent, so pick a particular member of staff to receive the alert. The first time you open SMS configuration, you will have this blue button on the left which gives you the option of applying 20 free credits. That's just so that you can test how the text messages work and have a play around sending a few to yourself so you're happy with how they display. If you want to buy further text credits, you can either do so by logging a support ticket or you can click on here to purchase text credits. The text credits bought through here are charged at a flat rate of 10 pence per credit and you can buy them in bundles of 500. In order to enable the purchase button at the bottom, you have to first click into the list and select 500 for number of credits to purchase. Then you have to do the same in the confirm box as well. You can't just leave it at the default of 500, you must manually click into each option which will make the purchase button hot so you can click on there. Once you do start sending text messages from the system you will be able to view the last 200 text messages sent in a list here. Thinking then about your viewing SMS reminders, these will go out to applicants two hours before a viewing is scheduled to take place in the expert agent diary. We explain the available merge codes up at the top here and we've given you some default content. Do be careful with your character count here. Think about the fact that in property we will be assigning a property address, but for this code it's only going to be a timestamp. You need to watch the character count doesn't go over 160 characters. I would aim to keep it at a maximum of 140 just for a safeguard allowing for longer property addresses. If you go over the 160 character count, your message will be sent but it will charge two text credits. So whatever you do change in here, be sure to copy it into a Word document, run a character count once you have adjusted the merge codes to reflect the actual information they will be displaying. If you don't want to send viewing SMS reminders, untick the box here.